So here I am, another INFJ ramble. I'm here to stitch basically a lot of my previous videos or a lot of the topics in my previous videos into this one. Um, a lot of the other videos that I touch on, I talk about um, letting go, creating healthy boundaries, um, mindfulness and awareness, and so forth, you know, um, changing self-growth, et cetera, et cetera. So I was thinking about this and this came to me in the shower and it is common sense, but I guess when you're too busy in your mind or too busy participating in world things, you know, it's really hard to like really peg down what it is. You know what I mean? Because you're so distracted and fragmented, but I was in the shower and I was thinking about this. And so how do I say this in a way that makes sense so everyone and everyone is trying their best um, to do their best in every moment sorry I'm getting text messages <laughs> oh well um, everybody is trying their best to do their best in every moment and their best may not be um, in alignment with your expectation of what you think is best get it Knowing this, um, nobody is good or bad, right or wrong. And keep in mind, you have to um, have a very open mind to see it this way. I think a lot of people are still stuck in a dualistic state of mind where they categorize and, um, <clears throat> um, how do I say, they categorize things into this or that, you know what I mean? And it's not even... This is that and that is this, basically. If you were to remove all barriers and um, boundaries and categorizations, like yin and yang, it's the same thing, but on opposing spectrums, but it's the same thing. So knowing that everyone is doing their best in every moment, um, no one is doing good or bad, right or wrong, they're just being, you know what I mean? Just as you are being. And I think the um, best way to navigate through this world is to just kind of like choose who you want to align with in order to create the best reality for you and your highest self. That's it. So, you know, there's some people and it's all chemical, I feel, you know, we're all it's all chemistry. If you think about it, like if you think about it, sometimes you get along with somebody really great and there's other times where you don't know and you don't know the person but you guys have some like underlying friction and it just doesn't work it's not good or bad right or wrong it's just you know some people are in alignment with you and where you're going and where you're heading and your vision and others aren't and it's all a game think of it as a cosmic joke and it's a game and you get to choose if you want to play games or not play games, who you want to play with, who you don't want to play with. And each choice that you make in every moment helps you to become that much better or that much worse. You know, it just depends. What are you aiming for? What are you striving for? And if you become really mindful and aware and you know yourself enough, you can kind of see more clearly what the objective is. You know what I mean? So you can align yourself with players that have a common goal and you guys can grow together in that direction. Or you can align yourself with people who are um, who do not have a common vision. And, you know, that's usually when a lot of conflict arises or a lot of misunderstandings, disagreements. A lot of things can be learned there as well. A lot of valuable tools can be acquired by aligning with these people as well. But if you've learned enough to a point where, you know, you just don't want drama or conflict, then you will consciously choose not to align yourself with these people because they don't have the, a common vision or common goal or your best interest in mind. And then you choose a higher route. Sometimes that even includes just being by yourself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it's a game and we're all players and you can either choose to align yourself with people who have your best interest in mind or you can align yourself with people who don't have your best interest in mind. 
And um, either way, it's okay. Because if you align yourself with people who don't have your best interests in mind, that, that's, I f that I feel is because you're still in a growing phase um, into knowing yourself more. You know what I mean? Because if you already knew yourself, you wouldn't consciously choose to participate in toxic relationships. You know what I mean? Like for me, I had to go through my sh fair share of toxic relationships until I realized, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Like it's just a drain and, you know, I can't change people. I can only change myself. I can only change my direction. I can change my, you know, perception of the world and that's about it. And so, you know, I feel like ever since I've done that, I've just been more fulfilled and more happy and more peaceful as well. Like I can, um, choose not to participate in a lot of these child games that people are playing and I can just kind of like stand on the sidelines and um, observe them learning their lessons because I've been there and I've done that and I don't need to grow through it anymore because I'm already like you know not that I'm like better or worse but I've already been there done that I've learned those lessons I don't need to revisit it you know but, you know, I can watch people who are currently in it, and if they're seeking a resolution, I can definitely, you know, offer them assistance if needed, you know. And that's the thing, if needed. Like, you don't want to impose your advice or your, um, how do I say, your influence on people who are just not, not there yet. They're not ready, you know. They're still playing the game because they haven't learned what they needed to learn. They haven't garnered the tools that they need, you know. So it's as simple as that. It's a cosmic joke. People are playing games. And then you either align yourself with people who will push you further towards your higher self or bring you away from your highest self. That's all it is. It's like a play of chemicals and reactions and responses. And yeah, it just is. You don't have to control it. You don't have to really, that's the thing too. Like I've noticed, like I've been like getting out of my mind more and more into my heart and my intuition. And when I say heart, I don't mean like the feelings because I think the brain, um, creates the feelings the heart you know how people like they feel heartbroken or they feel like um infatuated with someone and they're saying that's their heart no it's not your heart it's your mind it's your mind creating all these like reactions inside of you and you're reacting to them your heart is a higher intelligence and it knows what is best for you and your soul and if you were to like get beyond the the mind and all the reactions chemical reactions that it's creating you can see very clearly from your heart and then also from your intuition or your gut feeling you know so I I predominantly function from those places now don't get me wrong I'll access my rational mind um on occasion but predominantly I navigate through the world through my intuition and my heart yeah um and when I say my heart I'm talking about like unconditional love and understanding and compassion you know what I mean Versus like the ego. And I think the mind and the ego. I don't know. This isn't a well thought through thought. But they. Um, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mind, ego. It's created an identity for you. And it's wanting you to participate in the game. And because it likes drama. And it likes conflict. And it likes um, stimulation. Right? Um it needs constant like activity you know what I mean but if you can kind of like take your power back then you can kind of just let the mind do what it wants even put it in the in the background and then move forward with your your heart and your in, um, intuition sorry I keep I can't talk straight <sighs> yeah I'm, I'm trying my best though and that's all I can do if you learned something cool if you didn't learn anything that's cool too I hope you're having a beautiful day. Blessings to one and all. Amen.